You can see it's kind of like a circle. So how are you supposed to tell anterior, posterior, dorsal, and ventral? You find the umbo. That's this part right here. It kind of looks like a beak. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The umbo is pointing kind of this direction. The umbo points toward the anterior end. So this is the anterior end. That makes this posterior. Dorsal is where the hinges are. That's easy to remember because a door has hinges, right? Okay. And then ventral is the side where the clam opens. So this is ventral. Okay. Okay. You guys good with that? Mm -hmm. Anybody need it repeated? Yeah. No. Okay. You're good. When you open the clam, you'll see here the umbo over this clam kind of looks like crap, but you know. So umbo over here, that makes this the anterior adductor muscle. Can you see past my finger? Mm -hmm. Anterior adductor muscle. This one, posterior adductor muscle. These are the gills here. You see they're kind of feathery, very thin. If you move the gills out of the way, you can see the visceral mass here. This houses all the organs. This is the foot. When you move all this out of the way, you can see this layer here called the mantle. The mantle secretes the shell. So this is the shell. This is the mantle. You can tell the mantle from the gills because the gills have little striations increasing the surface area because gas exchange is happening there. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes because the foot has striations also for friction, some people confuse the foot with the gills, but you can see the foot is muscular, right? Yeah. The gills are just a feather-like uh, layer of tissue. Very, very, very fragile. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. Anybody have any questions? Nope.